The Justice Department says LMPD officers had no justification to use neck restraints to hold this man down during a 2019 traffic stop. This is Wave News at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. John is off tonight. The Justice Department's 86 page report on LMPD has several examples of officer misconduct, excessive force, discrimination, constitutional violations. Wave News reporter Mark Stevens shows us one example tonight. Mark. Myra Douglas Miller was pulled over for speeding in April 2019 on the Waterson. The officer suspected that Miller might be drunk driving and started performing the field sobriety tests. Miller hesitated to take the breathalyzer. What happened next reveals why the Justice Department has concerns about officers using neck restraints. Are you going to do this or not? So I, I kind of hesitated, and he says, well, you're under arrest. Yeah, turn around for me. Put your hands behind. No, look, I'll do, I'll do your test. I'll do your test. I'll, I'll take your test. In the span of 10 seconds, the officer pushes Douglas Miller to the ground. Watch the officer's right hand. Get on the ground! Roll over right now. 1135, start me a car, one fighting. Roll over on your stomach now. The officer uses a one hand chokehold on Miller before rolling him over. That's when another officer comes to help. And he punched me right in the face and then just started pounding on me. Yes, at this point, you are under arrest. Yeah. And I told you that before. Now you got resisting. A report from the Justice Department says the LMPD officer pressed his forearm into Miller's neck for a minute. A third officer who comes running in presses his knee against Miller's neck for another minute. Please, you're, really, you're really hurting me. Oh, God, please, please, stop, stop. Quit moving. Stop I, resisting. I, I'm not resisting. You're killing me. He's already Justice Department investigators said none of this was warranted. I'm already killed. Okay. Photos taken after the arrest show Miller's injuries. That included a black eye and bruising from a ruptured artery. Miller gave a statement to the department's professional standards unit. He also wrote a letter to former LMPD chief Erica Shields asking for help looking into his complaint. Miller says the public integrity unit refused to take his statement. Oh, look at my leg. I couldn't walk. There's no reason for that. No reason for any of them. The Justice Department says LMPD's investigation of this incident was deficient. It said the supervisor mischaracterized the chokehold and missed the knee to Miller's neck. The supervisor said the officer's actions followed LMPD policy. Chief Shields ordered an administrative investigation, but the DOJ says that investigation was deficient too. The second investigator searched the web for a one-handed chokehold and compared that to the officer's actions instead of comparing what happened to LMPD's own standards. Again, clearing the conduct. Miller has lost faith in LMPD. There should be a, somebody outside of LMPD to make that judgment. I mean, otherwise nobody's gonna have faith in it. Now Miller is suing the officers in federal court. That case has been on hold. While well, the criminal case against him unfolded, that ended early February. He pleaded guilty to speeding. Charges of resisting arrest, criminal mischief, and operating a car under the influence were dropped. The officer resigned from LMPD in December 2021. Mark Stevens, Wave News. All right, thank you.